the exhibition is called A World of One's Own, which is the title of an ongoing podcast series that I've been making, where I speak to artists that I respect and admire. Uh, and it's the, the title comes from Virginia Woolf's essay, A Room of One's Own. So it's about making space for yourself to create work. Um, and as artists, we all have different practices and different spaces. And so with this podcast series, I was invited by the Mornington Peninsula Regional Gallery to select five artists from the collection. So I went through all the women artists in the collection and chose my favourite. And then I was lucky enough to speak to those women uh, and have a conversation. So we recorded the conversations and then we're hanging all of the work from those artists plus new works. And then also we'll be hanging um, some of my own works that were made during that time. So a lot of my works are based on my dreams that I've had during that process of gleaning information from these women and the, the way they work and their ideas. And so it all sort of sifts through into my unconscious and that's what comes out in my work. So it's like a different way of processing that information. I selected different artists from the collection that I was interested in either their practice that I'd heard of before that I wanted to meet, uh, but also from different generations and different backgrounds. So um, Lisa Walp is a really amazing indigenous artist that works in this area and I re really wanted to meet her, but also her work was about um, place and country and I wanted to talk about that. Um, and then an uh, artist called Elizabeth Gower, who's a really established artist who was part of the women's liberation movement when it first happened. And she also was an old teacher of mine. So I really wanted to talk to her. And, and similarly, Sally Smart were from a similar era. And then a younger artist as well. So uh, Lily Mae Martin, who's younger than me. And um, it was interesting because when I selected all the artists I liked, uh, the, one, the, the one thing that came to the front was ide ideas of self or of identity. So I'm often interested in those ideas as well. And each of the artists in this um, group uh, very much uh, make works that are about either their life, working through their life or ideas of identity and self. Um, but also there's a couple of other themes that have emerged like ideas of collecting um, and in the show we have a couple of the artists actual collections to show their process. So Deborah Kelly uh, has actually put in her collections of cut um, pictures of reclining women from, from history books. Uh, she calls it freeing them from the history books. And so we've actually got some of her ephemera and similarly some of Lisa Waup's collections of bones and feathers and teeth. Um, so it was interesting to see a couple of different themes emerge uh, just that I hadn't thought of as well. Hopefully people take the idea that, um, you know, as women artists, uh, we very much can distill down our life. So sometimes I think through motherhood and other aspects of womanhood, uh, it can be pretty chaotic and hard to make work. But all of these artists have managed to work through really diffi difficult circumstances or um, different parts of their life and actually integrated that into their work, which I'm really interested in. Um, but also, I hope people take an idea that um, we all create our own languages. So we distill down parts of our life, whether it be our unconscious dreams or um, symbology from our day-to-day -day life, and then create our own language or a world of, of our own.